The maker of artificial intelligence tool ChatGPT is getting into the video creation sector with a new app. It's called Sora. Users just have to type or tell the app what they want to see, and this app will create a short video. It sounds useful, but with every new technology, we often report on how it can be misused. In our continuing series, AI on the Rise, we are bringing back our local expert, Grove City College computer science professor Brian Dellinger is here to speculate where we could be headed when we use AI tools in the workplace and many other places. Great to have you back. Thank you, Lindsay. Great to be here. Yes, yeah, so the maker of Chat GPT and now Sora appears to be expanding. They teased this Sora concept. So you and I last spoke about Chat GPT in August of last year. Would you say that app is becoming more widely used in the education setting where you are, or is it more so in the workplace at this point? Well, I think uh, we might distinguish between illicit and illicit uses. And I think in illicit uses, permissible uses, that the workplace is probably ahead right now, that there's been more wide-scale incorporation of that into a variety of fields. So we're seeing software developers using it to write test cases for their code. Uh, we're seeing it used to draft documents that then can be edited or refined by a human being. Um, I'm afraid in education we're seeing a lot of illicit use of it as well. And we're also seeing interesting legal challenges within the workplace. Um, an interesting case out of a uh, Canadian airline this past week or two where they had a custom chat bot that was giving advice to customers buying tickets, wound up giving bad advice, telling someone that they could get some money back in a way that they could not. And, uh, and the person was forced to take them to court in order to prove that they were liable for advice that their chatbot had given. So both some ups and downs in recent weeks in our, our uh, incorporation of it into uh, workforces. Oh, and that's a lot of drama because you all know how we love customer service. So, of course, something like that has to happen to a customer. Uh, Sora was teased a week ago by OpenAI's CEO. So how will it work? And do you think that we could see this end up doing things during the election cycle? Yeah, great question. So Sora is from OpenAI, the makers of ChatGPT and earlier systems like DALI, where earlier image generation systems had focused on producing still images. Sora is designed to produce moving video, so continuous video without maybe some of the effects you've seen in earlier AI video where everything sort of morphs and distorts from moment to moment. Uh, and so while this is not yet open to the public, they've done some early test runs of it. They've demoed examples of it on X, previously Twitter, um, and are promising that it should be more open in the near future. Uh, I think it is very likely that we will see technology like this used uh, to unfortunate purpose in the upcoming election. Um, we've already seen an interesting challenge where we've had both AI-generated video that purports to be real and real video that is dismissed as being AI generated. So when early reports of the atrocities of October 7th broke, uh, some claimed that those videos, which of course were real, had been generated by AI. And so uh, we're finding challenges in both directions there. And I think that will intensify as we move further into this election cycle. Now, do you think My advice is, oh, I'm sorry, please. No. Do you think that the regulation needs to start to be stepped up a little bit more by regulators and lawmakers, or do you think that that may not happen fast enough? Yeah, you know, I, I think that's always a difficult question. Um, the risk we run in regulating is that often regulations of this form are built with the uh, assistance of what are already the dominant partners in the industry. So in some sense, they get in and then they close the door behind them. And so my fear would be, that we ensure perpetual dominance of something like an open AI instead of allowing an open marketplace there. That said, there are clear risks to this technology. And I think there's increasing questions emerging over what it means to own our likeness or our image and what rights we have um, regarding the misuse of that image or of false videos being deep faked us. Absolutely, a lot of concerns as we get closer and closer to more of this advanced technology. Brian, thank you so much for joining us as always. My pleasure.